Tables have turned, now I'm up all night. I'm picturing you acting like a fool. So, guys, if I go, if I go straight to this video, I'll like to talk about what um, the last video about stretch mark or that I posted last video, guys. Stretch mark, where if you know you want to know much about it, you want to actually go for training, but you want to get the oil, or you should just contact the number on the screen. I might not really reply your comment or tell you the price on the comment section, but if you charge me more than one, I'm going to reply you ASAP, like ASAP. So let's go to the video, to the main video. So now let's go to the main video. So guys, now let's go to the main video. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Maria Davis and I'm here again with another video. Guys, today I am doing a scrub for your food, and this will help those that have um, dry skin. If you know that you have this dry food, your food is already getting so dry and flaky. This scrub is for you. I'm going to show you how you are going to be using it, how you will treat your food, and how it will actually help you to smoothen and actually moisturize your food at the same time. So, if you want to watch this video, don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And I'll see you guys at the end of the video. So guys, first I'll be adding a salt. I'm using two tablespoons of salt. It's the normal salt. I've forgotten the name of the salt I'm using. Normal salt I found in my kitchen. That's what I'm using. I'm using two tablespoons of that salt. Okay. The next I'll be using is lemon oil. I'm using lemon oil because I don't have fresh lemon juice at the moment. So if you have lemon juice, if you can get lemon juice fresh one you you can replace it with that i'm using just few drops of lemon or inside inside the scrub but if you're using um fresh lemon juice you should use at least one teaspoon one teaspoon not one tablespoon one teaspoon of fresh lemon juice so guys after that i'm going to be adding honey i'm using um forever honey i use the honey when i want to use my scrub when i make my scrub body polish this is not for i just love this honey guys i love this honey a lot i even use this when i want to take it like take tea or something i use this honey i'm going to show you guys the honey i'm using i'm using one tablespoon of honey i'm going to be mixing it inside the bowl okay If you don't have forever honey you can use any natural honey you have at home so the next i'm going to be adding is olive oil i added one tablespoon of olive oil i'm using extra virgin olive oil i'm going to show you guys a picture of it so i make sure this recipe i'm going to be using for this food scrub is something you can get so i'm going to be mixing everything together another thing you can add into, into this recipe is baking soda baking soda is also very very good on the food so I'm going to be stirring everything together. Guys, this scrub smells so nice. Like, so, so nice. I think it's because of the lemon oil. Lemon oil has a very nice smell. It smells so nice. So guys, I'm actually outside my house now because inside is really, really dark. And I have to film this video. Like, guys, just manage what you see. So I want to actually show you guys how you are going to use the scrub how you are going to actually scrub your foot and make it really really work so first of all i've boiled water um i boiled water so what, and what i added inside that bowl is ordinary water and what i'm going to be adding inside that bowl is hot water so i'm going to be mixing hot and ordinary water together to give me warm water okay 